Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast is a Christ-centered podcast. Established in 2019 and hosted weekly by Pastor Chris Busher. Addressing a host of topics such as the Great Commission, Christian discipleship, and often featuring interviews with special guests who are experts in their field. The views and events expressed on this podcast and all related materials belong solely to their author and not necessarily to the author's employer, organization, committee, or other group or individual. While all attempts are made to present accurate information, some information may become outdated over time. Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast makes every attempt to timely update any and all such information. Without further delay, here's another powerful episode of Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast. Once again, I'm your co-host, Dallas Montague, and here in the studio today, we have another amazing guest, Daniel Johnson. Daniel is the CEO of a company called Risen Vision. Daniel, thank you for being here today. If you can just give a brief explanation to our listeners, what is Risen Vision? Well, thank you. I appreciate you having me to be. Basically, Risen Vision is a Christian comic book business, and our slogan is we're sharing our vision with the world while giving God the glory. Basically, as a uh, you know, comic books, you know, that we're telling our stories, basically uh, being relatable, you know, um, to everyday life. But again, it's really teaching a message, you know, um, helping people out there in the world. You know, we may have something that they're going through, you know, and, you know, like I say, each book is basically um, described like a superhero telling up a story. But like I say, on the Christian aspect, each one of these characters find God in a different way, you know, and, wow. you know, that helps them, you know, to finally call on what they're supposed to do in life. And that, you know, maybe to become a superhero, you know, or, you know, to take that call, you know, and greater their powers. And like I say, you know, symbolically, um, you know, speaking, you know, that's, mm-hmm. I believe that's how God, you know, um, talks to his his children, you know, to find what they're called to do. You know, he gives them a passion or whatever. So basically what Risen Vision is basically going out there, you know, um, you know, saving souls. Like I said, I feel like this is a unique way that God has given me, you know, to, you know, to save souls, you know, through these books. So I was, that's what Risen Vision is. Mm-hmm. And how long has Risen Vision been a company? Risen Vision was, uh, went, went in the company on March 2017. Very cool. I'm excited to hear a little bit more about that as we go on. But before we do, I'm curious about your testimony. I always like to ask our guests a little bit about themselves. And so some questions like, when did you meet Christ? How has it changed your life moving forward? Okay, right, that's good. I, I, I could definitely start out. Um, and I met Christ at the age of six. First and foremost, I grew up in a Christian family. Both of my parents are pastors. So, you know, um, you know, I was definitely... Uh, Definitely get, definitely get my life to the Lord at the age of six. At a very young age, I've been in church all my life, you know, so the Word was wow. already um, instilled inside of me. And I'm just thankful, man, like I said, I, I can say this long story short, you know, I've definitely seen the power of God in many ways in my life. You know, uh, one thing that the Lord has really um, helped me with in life in general, you know, is just showing me grace, you know, um, a major favor. I've had major, that's one of the main things I know that God has always given me favor, like anywhere I go. You know, and I'm thankful for that even to this day. Again, like I said, growing under, uh, you know, a Christian church and having a Christian parent, you know, who was also pastors, you know, um, even when I was younger, man, you know, I preached the Word of God in front of, you know, uh, my church at a very young age. Like I said, you know, the Word was basically still inside of me, you know, and uh, going, you know, you know, going into even now, you know, I'm, um, I'm 29 right now. Just thankful, you know, like the Word says, you know, um, train up a child and where they should go and when they get older, they should not depart from it. So I'm definitely mm-hmm. thankful, you know, that my parents, uh, you know, help regard you, my parents, you know, to help me, uh, you know, keep my faith in, you know, in Christ, you know, and um, just be able to move forward. And that's why mm-hmm. today I'm even, you know, an even stronger Christian than I was, you know, when I was younger. You know, like I say, you know, God has always been with me. He showed, you know, I've seen many times that he's shown me that he is real. You know, like I said, I'm just thankful, you know, that, you know, uh, his grace and his mercy has been with me. And it's continuous, you know, and blessings have been there and they continue to come, man. So. I would say that's my testimony. Just thankful, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's a huge advantage, like you said, having Christian parents. Mm -hmm. It's such an amazing thing when we do have that growing up. I did not have that until probably 10 years Mm -hmm. old or more. And so being saved at six, that's amazing. That's a huge thing. And thank you for sharing your testimony with us. I want, I'm curious about the comic books now. And so when did you find your passion for comic books themselves and then starting to create your own? All right, well, I will go all the way back. I, I say basically where it started all at the age of nine, when I was nine years old. I've always 
had a passion to write creative stories that were original. And, and like in my church, there were some brothers, you know, that used to draw and they had like these stories and they hit me out of nowhere. I started creating my own universe of characters from that age. I would draw out characters, you know, and create draw backgrounds, you know, and really just create stories, like Christian stories, you know, on paper mm. and literally create my own mini comic books. And that's really how it all started. Like, like I say, just, I say, you know, really, um, you know, um, you know, if God used these other guys who was in the church, like I say, you know, because they used to do special artwork for the church, you know, or like, you know, special paintings, you know, like I know I remember a while back, they painted mm-hmm. the, um, the logo for the church, you know, so just being able, you know, to take those ideas, kind of the same way, you know, like what I'm doing with the comic books, it was like Christian comic books, you know, but like, I uh, said, just something that I always called excitement for, like I say, I do my own stuff wrote my own stories, you know, and you know, that's basically what it started from. So I would say definitely from the age of nine, that's really what my parents came from. You're listening to the Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast. We'll be right back after this quick word from our sponsors. Song and Verse Ministries celebrates the art of music, recognizing that God's influence and design can be found in the souls of all humanity. His creation. Through their podcast, blog, and other endeavors, they strive to bring His Word to life through reflection, discussion, discernment, and the music itself. Listen to their podcast on YouTube today by searching Song Verse Ministries. His quest for power, fame, and wealth are no different than a long list of people who have already failed throughout history. However, no one has possessed the intellect, ingenuity, and support structure that he has obtained. Nothing seems impossible for him to achieve. As the world is faced with unparalleled problems and changes, everyone is looking for a hero. Tyre Ahaben tends to be a new kind of hero. Find this and more in Michael V. Gordon's newest book, Ascension, available on Amazon. Just in general. And so about for the last 20 years, you've been working on comic books. And so what gave you that push to start creating comic books as a business and as a company instead of just for a passion? Well, I would say basically risen vision. I would say if I could use the word inspired, I was definitely inspired from two things. One, my relationship with God, because I know in my spirit, God been telling me to do this. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and two, my love for comic books and animated heroes growing up. I've always had a strong love for characters, you know, in the Marvel and DC universe. You know, we... You know, we see it today in the movies, uh, mm-hmm. Avengers, all that, that. I've always had a strong love for that. It's always been a love and excitement of mine to watch these shows growing up, you know, and reading the books. The publishing mm-hmm. for positive Christian comics comes from my group in the Word of God. You know, so God kind of kind of gave me the idea and showed me my vision of the two, you know, mixing comic books and, you know, putting the Word of God in. So, like I was explaining, you know, earlier, our I, I slogan here at Risen Vision is that we share sharing our vision of the world while giving God the glory. So at the end of the day, it's about helping those who are lost. So Jesus said, go out and preach the gospel, you know, and I believe that is our mission through comics, which is why I know he gave me this passion, you know. So, you know, uh, taking the foolish things of the world to confine the wise, you know, um, the comic books that we see today, the superheroes like the Spider-Man or the Batman, you know, I feel like, you know, God kind of mm-hmm. the word and said, okay, you know, you know, you have your superheroes out there, you know, but it's time, you know, create this type of superhero, you know. And what are some of your characters that you have? Um, right now, I'm really working on my first character. Um, His name is Saint. I said right now, I only have two books out right now, but like I said, I definitely have a whole universe. His name is Saint. Um, basically, I'm um, a Christian um, superhero. Basically, he dons the arm of God. You know, uh, his story basically revolves, it, it, it's basically a story that revolves around a young man who just lost his mother and he's searching for answers on what's the next step in life. During his journey, Basically, he's going to school, living life, normally the stress from the death of his mind. You know, he lived with his stepdad, and both of them are still recovering from the pain. You know, but, you know, God starts to order his steps and links him with a wise old man to show him what his calling is in life. And that's to become the hero of the city known as Hannibal, which is based out of New Orleans, which is my hometown. So um, that's, that's, that's basically my first story. But like I was saying, you know, I always kind of had this idea for a whole universe of heroes, and I do have other heroes coming soon. I have a hero called Mirac coming soon. Um, mm-hmm. you know, I have a hero, female su- uh, superhero coming called um, Kari. I have another uh, superhero com- coming called Silas. And they all represent, you know, Christ, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, in its uh, respective stories. So, yeah, yeah man. Uh, like I say, definitely working, uh, you know, every day I always working hard, you know, it's always constantly writing. And like I say, you know, you know, the goal now is just to continue to push and get it out. Yep. 
And so from my perspective, my wife does not like Marvel. She thinks that it's it's evil and things like this. And so what would be your advice or your word to a mother or a parent who doesn't want their children to watch Marvel or something like this or to be involved with that, but maybe be inspired by Risen Vision? Well, to an extent, I do understand, um, you know, well, you know, where people may have certain problems or certain things like a Marvel because you have certain characters maybe represent, mm-hmm. um, you know, like, like I know like a character called Ghost Rider. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with that character or Daredevil. You know, I just know people look at the names of like Ghost Rider and he got his powers from state. Like, I can understand certain ideas, but like, <laughs> you know, but like a Spider-Man, I mean, mm-hmm. if, if I'm just speaking from my own opinion, I don't see a, you know, a, a problem with that person. You know, but um, mm-hmm. definitely yeah. going forward, yeah. again, that's one of the reasons, you know, I felt like another reason that God kind of, you know, called me to bring this forward, you know, because, you know, in these other stories, a lot of controversy, especially, you know, you know, mm-hmm. you know you're know, a Christian, you know, and I know, you know, every Christian kind of have their own idea and opinions, you know, uh, you know, on certain, uh, you know, things, you know, so again, uh, you know, saints, mm-hmm. like, for example, is a story, again, where it talks about a young man who has the arm of God, but he lost his mother, so I kind of wanted to mingle the two of like real life issues. He's stressing with that problem, you know. And he's kind of praying that basically God's all this exceptional to help him find what he's called to do in life. And he's called to protect the mm-hmm. city, you know. You know, and uh, you know, you know, it's basically you know the, um, you know, he, he he's basically you know uh, giving God his glory, you know, as our slogan goes, all our characters will do, but you know, fighting for the evil, you know, fighting Satan, you know. Like I said, the storyline is way deep, but that was just kind of you know a quick synopsis on it, but. Yeah, definitely to ask you know to answer mm-hmm. your wife's question on it. You know that's basically like I say. Well, I feel like reason vision is here, you know, because I feel like you know it's a more comfortable, you know, you know, you know, more comfortable um, storyline. You know, maybe for her kids to read or whatever. You know, um, so yeah. yeah. I, I, but, but again, I, I I fully understand where she's coming from with that. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for answering that. I'll tell her about that no afterwards as well. <laughs> She'll no like problem. that. <laughs> All right, and so I do want to talk about this the collection called Saint. And so you it's broken into three issues, you, you said, correct? Yeah. Okay. And so the first two are currently available. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Where yeah. can we, where can our listeners find these first two issues? Okay. You can find the books at our website on www.risenvision.org. Again, it's www.risenvision.org. Um, also, we sell them on Facebook. Our social media site on Facebook is Risen Vision Comics dash Thoughts of Light. Again, that's Risen Vision Comics Thoughts of Light. Also, we have an Instagram account. Um, at in a, uh, the Instagram account is at RV Comics. Again, it's at uh, the letter R, the letter V Comics. Um, so you can definitely find them. Mm-hmm. We don't sell them on Instagram, but we definitely send them on Facebook and the website. And right now, we actually have a special deal going on. If you buy the first book for full price. Excuse me, you get the second book at fifty percent off. So the book is fourteen ninety nine. If you buy the first book, you get the second book at fifty percent off. And you definitely get your money's worth because both books are fifty plus pages. The first book is fifty plus, the second book is eighty plus. You know, so you definitely get your money's worth, you know, people may be looking at the price. It's almost like a graphic novel. But like I said, I would just lay you know, uh lay it in the direction of call it a comic book. You know, so like I said, you get a lot of stories for your money and you know, um Again, that's where you can find it, the risenvision.org. Mm-hmm. Great. Thank you. And who do you think that this comic book is written for? Is it written toward children, towards young adults? What what age group do you think this is for? I would say this. I would say it's written basically for anybody, the young at heart, kids, um, you know, um, adults. I would say these comics are for those who know the word of God, but also for those who are maybe looking for answers to the truth and the stories that take place. Or superheroes, like I explained earlier, but, you know, I did my best to try to be relatable with people to help them find Jesus. Um, so it's for me, anybody, even if Christianity isn't your thing, you just want to enjoy the story. It has that, you know, but it definitely strongly represents what I represent, my faith in Jesus, and my Christian faith is shown in the writing. So long story short, to answer your question is basically for anybody, but if there's a certain, um, a certain, um, like, like, uh, general audience, again, I, you know, I kind of got a balance, you know, where it's not, you know, where it's dark. You know, and it's not too light. So I would say if, if I could pick one, I would say right it you know, you know, right within their young teenage, like there's no blood, of course there's no cussing, you know, nothing like that. You know, uh, you know, there is there is violence, you know, because you know, it, it is the character that's fighting against the Comic against books, the unclean yeah. spirit. So I would say young teen, if if I could pick one. Okay. Yeah. And I think it's amazing what you're saying because you're gonna reach people whether they're looking for it or not. 
You know, they're going to yeah. be inspired by it. And then when they find out the true meaning behind it, that gives it so much more purpose. Right. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate. Can you give our listeners a little bit more behind the creative process behind creating a comic book? So when I think of writing a book, I think of someone sitting in a coffee shop with a computer, blah, blah, blah. But when it comes to a comic book, I mean, what's the process? Well, for one, it has to be a passion for us. <laughs> but for people who just want to learn how to put one together, first you have to brainstorm, I would say. If I'm just going for my personal opinion, there's a couple of things you have to consider when putting together a book. You know, the creative process of creating a comic book, you're basically an author. So, you know, anything just like you write in a regular book, you got to come together with a storyline, you got to come up with characters, you got to come up with a plot, a plot twist, solutions, how to, you know, how the characters to look, add in color. You know, if the story would, you know, be black or white pages, et cetera. So I would recommend anyone who wants to learn about the creative process of writing is to just start writing and it will come to you. Um, these ideas used to come to me out of nowhere, you know, um, I say definitely within their age range, what I was telling you about. And that's really how, you know, I just used to get excited. I used to write it down. That's how my ideas came. Um, I wanted to take my world with these creative, um, you know, you know, these creative stories, you know, and just turn it into something amazing. So it's many different layers to creating a book and a lot of things. Yeah. So that's definitely what I would say, the creative process, brainstorming a lot of thinking, you know, and, uh, you know, just kind of sitting down and just kind of seeing where you want to come from. If, you know, you know, there's people out there who want to write a book, you know, I can definitely give you a tip on, um, you know, um, you know, just kind of be on the lookout, like when you're watching a movie or something. That's kind of what everybody do. You kind of take little bits and pieces and you put it into your storyline of what you're trying to create. You know, so that's, that's, that, that's kind of the, you know, that's kind of the, um, the advice I can give people out there. If they want a little creative process behind it, you know, taking little things here and there, some pieces, brainstorming and creating and, and twisting and turning into your own thing. That's great. And so your process is... You write the story first, and then you draw the comics. Exactly, exactly. Okay. If I was going to do this, I don't know what process I would start with. Maybe, like you say, the brainstorming first, but yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I appreciate Yeah, because like I say, long story short, you know, um, when you write it down, you know, um, you know, that gives you an idea, you know, of how you're going to have it illustrated, you know. <laughs> but again, like I say, you know, it, you know, it's for people, you know, who... You maybe just want to know the process of it or who have a passion for it, you know, I, I would recommend that's how you start out. That's the easiest way, you know. So. And when you draw the comics, do you do it like on an iPad or how do you do that? Well, first of all, well, here's the thing. I, when I was young, I used to draw, but I actually have a professional illustrator. He's very, like, like you know. Like, ah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, one, he's one of the best right now. So technically, I'm really, I'm really just an author. When I was young, I used to draw. You know, but you know, I really have a okay. professional, professional artist. Excuse me, a professional, professional illustrator. Um, you know, so um, you know, he he always done a fantastic job. The artwork is uh, insane. The colors pop out. I'm gonna give a shout out to him. His name is Alexander Watkins Jr. You know, he does a fantastic job on the artwork. Like I say, and uh, you know, that's you know, uh, you know, I, I can tell you, you asking that question, that's usually how he do his work because I know that's, you know, some of the, when he showed me some of the sketches, he showed me from an iPad, you know, or, you know, that's usually how he mm -hmm. doing it or whatever. You know, everything kind of digital these days. Some he doing on paper, some yeah, just yeah. can, some just through the iPad and then, yeah, and painting and coloring and shading. It's pretty cool looking at the process, you know, everything's a process, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went to college for just a little bit of time as a graphic design major and so I've always had like a keen for art, but I mean... I'm not at all that talented, you know, but I'm, I am curious, cool. you know, what the process would look like that. So. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. All right. Great. And what are the plans for 2021 for Risen Vision? Well, like I said, you know, I have two books out right now. So, you know, uh, mm -hmm. that's, that's basically the focus going forward. And I think, you know, both books based on uh, the character known as Saints, you know, uh, issue one, um, you know, is the origin story. Issue two is the continuation of issue one. So basically, you know, we're going forward. 2021, you know, basically focusing on these two products heavily. But 2021 in, in general is going to bring a lot of promise because we're looking to drop issue three, which is actually the final issue to um, chapter one of issue one and issue two. I don't know if I mentioned that, excuse me. Um, it's a three part issue of chapter one, the Saints. So, like I said, we got the two books out right now. Issue three is the final chapter. Mm -hmm. And a whole new character as well, like I was telling you about the other character, uh, Mirak. That's one of the other characters I'm working on. He's going to have a whole different perspective. His character is going to follow more of the style role of a, he's more of a human, you know, and, you know, most of his time, you know, he's kind of, you know, he kind of grew up in the struggle, you know, so finding God for him was a little more rougher, you know, but like I say, like I would say, it's different aspects. So that's two of the characters, you know, uh, you know, two of the next books I'm working on in 2021. 
But I already confirmed the universe of characters on our social media for the business, you know, and they all represent God in their respective stores, like I was telling you. And as we all know, 2021, um, you know, is, you know, it's going to bring a lot more exposure, you know, but, you know, a lot of stuff was supposed to happen in 2020, you know, man, but, you know, due to COVID, a lot hmm. of stuff we had planned was canceled. Yeah. So the team is currently working hard to put together things, you know, where people will learn more about the business, you know, so going forward, Keep up with news, you know, news to date, you know, like, you know, I know I gave you all the uh, social media um, information or whatever. So, you know, definitely want to give a shout out real quick to my VP of the business, uh, my vice president, Joshua Washington, who has worked with me closely since we started putting this thing together, you know. He has been big in terms of helping advertising and getting the word out, you know. So, um, like I said, you know, you know, you know, you know, just, you know, still. Getting the word out there, man. That's 2021. We got some big things coming. And like I said, the team is definitely, definitely working hard, you know, to uh, move forward, you know, with this vision, you know, and get it out as much as possible, man. You know, because, you know, uh, you know, we know uh, Christ is on his way back, you know, so we try to do everything we can, you know, uh, you know, to get that word out there before he returns. You know, get the gospel out there, man. That's what yeah. it was about, getting the gospel out there. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Well, God bless you on this mission because... I mean, that's what we're all about. I'm a missionary myself living in a foreign country. Mm-hmm. You know, you're doing missions through the Risen Vision. I mean, that's what it's all about. Absolutely. The mission. Absolutely. Preaching the gospel. Great stuff. Well, again, Daniel, thank you so much for being a part of the show today. If there's anything else you would like to mention to our listeners today before you go. Um, right now, I don't have anything else. Um, like I said, you can, um, you know, if you have any information, again, you can go to the website, risenvision.org. That's where you can see all the information. Also, let me say this. Um, on the you know on the website, we don't only sell the books; we also sell clothing too. You know, we have a few clothing products, some shirts, some beanies, pants. You know, so uh, feel free to shop around. We have a you know little small shopping section. You can also go to Risen Vision Comics, start to light on Facebook. Like I say, follow and like us, man. Um, also, I forgot to mention, we also on YouTube. Uh, just in all caps is Risen Vision. On all caps is Risen Vision. So like and subscribe, man, you know, because we're going to be putting content up there. Like right now, I actually have a video I'm working on, you know, like you was talking about with the creative process. Come to think of it, I actually have a video mm-hmm. right now where I'm actually helping people, you know, learn how to create a comic book step by step. You know, I'm, I'm actually on my wow. uh, second part of the video. You know, so that's the type of things we put in Risen Vision, again, helping people, you know, and down the line, you know, uh, spreading, you know, spreading the word, you know, um, you know, just, uh, you know, in different aspects. You know, like I say, again, like I was saying earlier, you know, rather, you know, you're a Christian, you know, all like that stuff. You just want to learn, you know, something, you know, just for the knowledge of it. You know, that's, you know, that's basically what we all about, you know, but uh, I'm definitely thankful, man, to be here, you know, and, uh, you know, definitely thankful, you know, thankful that you gave me the opportunity, you know, to explain, man, you know, what we're really vision is, man. Absolutely. Again, and if I can have you in the podcast with a prayer, I would really appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, oh, Father God, for this meeting, oh, Father God, that we had this interview, Lord. I thank you, oh, Father God, that it will be touched, that it will touch whoever needs to touch, oh, Father God. I thank you, oh, Father God, that it will help inspire, you know, who you call to, you know, um, you know, wh- whatever their passion is, Lord, you know, let them be inspired to go forward with it, oh, Father God. I thank you, oh, Father God, for the power of God going forward, oh, Father God, as you help your children, oh, Father God, or whoever else you want out there, oh, Father God, to do their mission. Oh, Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this brother here. I thank you, Father God, for his business, Lord. I thank you, Father God, that you will continue, you know, to show him, you know, um, you know, what's the right steps to take, you know, in his journey on the way, Lord. I thank you, Father God, just for everything you're doing, continuing and doing. I thank you, Father God, for your continued grace, mercy, and peace, oh, Father God. I thank you, Father God, just for everything, Lord. I thank you, Father God, for risen vision. Thank you for the business. And your Lord, that again, whoever's out there who needs this, Lord, you let it get to them and let it be a blessing, Lord. Let it touch them. You know, again, if you call them to do something, Lord, let them know, oh, Father God, as you know, as you have me, as you have this brother right here on the phone. Your powerful name, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You've just listened to the Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast. With your host, Pastor Chris Busher. Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast was recorded live in studio with final editing made before uploading. Subscribe today to Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast on iTunes or Google Play. For more fantastic daily content, visit Pastor Chris Busher online via Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Don't miss the next episode on Faith and Family Fellowship Podcast.